Hi, uh, thank you for your time today. My name is Chris Sarley. Uh, I'm from Barrington. I regularly regularly ride the 60, 61X, 32, 33, a bunch of others. Uh, I'm asking you to oppose this plan as it's been presented. Um, as other members of the public have comp have mentioned, uh, there is significant concern that this will add friction to the lives of regular riders. Uh, but I'd also urge you to oppose the plan because I think it'll make it harder for RIPTA to improve service in the future. After reviewing the transfer analysis, uh, the first thing I have to say is I think it's a huge oversight not to include regular pass holders in the two plus seat ride uh, analysis. Um, although there is a footnote at the end, I think it's uh, not okay to advertise it as only impacting 14% of rides. Uh, I found that to be misleading and I, in my opinion, it undermines the credibility of the analysis and the project more broadly. Second, I'd like to point out that the entire analysis seems to, and I'm not sure if because more details haven't been released, but from what I've seen, based entirely on past performance and not future potential, um, all of the claims of this will make it better in the future or something seem to be speculative at best and not based on uh, any data collection that I've seen. Um, it doesn't seem to consider potential growth of transit ridership. Um, especially based on changes that have come in through the DTC, uh, which of course RIPTA has recently invested a lot of money and time into. Uh, it also doesn't seem to consider how the addition of a similar east-west transit emphasis corridor would change service patterns, uh, or how the new wave uh, fare collection system, which I absolutely love, uh, will also have impacts on ridership. Um, in fact, the presentation has made no mention that I'm aware of or acknowledgement to the upcoming transit master plan uh, or the recommendations it contains. Uh, in my view, Kennedy Plaza is very adaptable and it can be iterated to meet both present and future needs. This multi-hub plan creates artificial restrictions on future transit improvements and blows a large sum of money that taxpayers approved without first considering the opportunity costs of, of investing that money elsewhere or in the future. I urge you to reject this proposal and any proposal that spends this money, this bond money until the transit master plan has been released and digested by the public and politicians. I understand politics generally favors flashy projects that make good photo ops, but I think you all know that Ripton need, what Ripton needs most is lots of uh, methodical, relatively unexciting investment. I appreciate your time and your work and your dedication. Uh, thank you very much.